Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie. Today I got Toyota Pro S 2017 model 2 liter engine. Basically, service light on, engine management light on, at blue sign on. We'll see what happened inside. Have a look. Someone already attend to the job because there is a cover they are already removed however i'm going to start this car you can see this side engine management light on and this side service light and at blue sign on however like this scenarios I can't assuming and work. I need to plug in my computer and have a look what's going on here. I'm going to take a faulty code to this problem. Right. I got the faulty code. It's P20EE depollution of the knock system basically i know what's the problem i can delete this one but previous garage they reset the light it's come back after one day basically that's why customer came to me we need to find out permanent solution for the this faulty code basically if you has a perjo citron 1.6 engine that's a very common problem you know the at blue sensor crystallizing however i don't have a good idea about this vehicle because very rarely this vehicle in the uk however i am going to use my previous experience and i'm going to underneath and have a look what happened to the nox injector most common problem that injector hole going to be clogged up with the crystallization for the ad blue that's why most common problem sometimes we have a previous experience like a sensor tube blocked or sometime we have a previous experience at blue pump not work as should be because it's need to like a specialized system and they need to inject with the pressure i think normally 5.5 or something psi but however i'm not sure this vehicle but i'm using my previous experience and i'm going to underneath and have a look what happened to the knock sensor not sorry not knocks uh, the at blue injector and show you what's going on underneath i already jack up the car this side because it's easy to go underneath from this area and i'll show you where the sensor or injector located you can see here front of the exhaust this is the exhaust this is the pressure sensor before the DPF this is the pressure sensor after the DPF this is the after DPF knock sensor and the front knock sensor I think top of the cat toe somewhere I can't I'm not sure however I'm going to remove this this is the injector I'm going to remove this clamp and disconnect from here and show you what's going on here first yeah my suspect right you can see the mirror yeah you can see slightly clog up the hole and also can you see the injector yeah that's the one it's fully clog up see this is the injector fully clog up i'm going to clean this injector and the hole inside you can see here see ah that's a uh, causing the problem because this injector spray like a pattern if it blocked the pattern not coming then after that inside going to be blocked then after that 
on board computer identifier this knox not doing the good job that's why the whole light illuminate Can you see inside now? It's ni nice and clean. That's why it should be need to. But however, now it's back to normal, all clear inside. Now after that, I need to clean this hole also well. Once you clean, try to take the crystallize as much you can out don't going to put it in try to take out as much you can when you clean it if it going in you can't do much but see try to take out as much you can right this one also nice and clean now right yeah both nice and clean after that i'm going to install this clamp and go inside the car and play with the computer right i fix all underneath things what i remove now i had to time to play with the computer normally this car doesn't give enough details to play around. Normally, once I done this job, I'm going to operate the pump, prime the pump and have a look the injector nozzle working. But however, this vehicle, I couldn't do anything. Uh, not anything mean that like not much. We'll see. I'm going to the engine control module. Read 40 codes. You know P20 EE faulty code before, and there is another faulty code in this side. You can see U029D faulty communicate with DNOX system. No communication. That one also a little bit not good sign because the this problem when I checked the first time it's communicate with the system and it's blocked. That's why I done the repair. However, this U faulty code little bit not good sign. However, I know the both codes now, then I'm going to clear memory. That means the clear the faulty codes. Uh, carrying out switch of the ignition and switch each on. It's on. Right. Clear completed. I'm going to try read again, nothing there. And the next step exit from here, I'm going to read data. Uh, we'll see somewhere Dinox. Right, you can see the dashboard, engine management light disappeared, and this side you saw before at blue sign. It's disappeared, however, service still remaining because this vehicle overdue for the service. Enox one information, select all, okay. Engine speed, okay. This one little bit low, you can see the pressure of the urea fluid because it's four it should be normally five or more i'm going to hold the rpm 3000 for a two three minute and have a look what happened to the 
pressure of urea. See, still four bars. Should be it's okay for this vehicle. I'm not sure because I don't have much experience for the this vehicle. Normally it should be five or six. Some cars going to seven also well. Anyway, I'm going to keep hold the raving and have a look what's going on here. I'm going to check my chart. See, it's not moving at all. I am not a little bit happy for this volume. However, I'm not sure is it normal for this vehicle or not because I don't have uh, much experience for the, this Toyota Pro S. I'm assuming it's a normal and I'm exit from here and try to take a faulty code reads. Still no faulty codes. That's a good sign. And the next step, I'm going to leave it everything as it is and I'm going to rave 2000 RPM and leave it for the another five minute running check the any faulty code if it not i'm going to take to the motorway journey 45 minute and after that i'll have a look everything as should be but at the moment everything as should be okay to me but however the, that pressure for the at blue pump little bit low for me we'll see how it's going on if citron or forjo definitely it's low then the, that's why the light trigger up. However, I don't know the this van. We'll see how it's going on. However, I'm going to do the service after this one because of that I don't like to leave it on this service sign. Then I'm going to reset that sign. Basically, my maintain system not okay with this car. However, okay, another problem, then I had to find out how am I going to reset this service light. Ah, could be it's here. There is a spanner light. I don't know. Is it this one? Yeah, could be. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ignition off all this spanner light and ignition on and have a look. See, it's counting in the middle. That's mean it's going to reset. Ah, right, right. It's done. Ah, I learned another something new. Just start the car and have a look now. Yeah, service light also disappeared. Ah, right. No need a computer for that one. However, another new thing for me. Next step, I'm going to leave it running. Five minute. I'm going to stick this pedal holder. Right, you can see RPM 2000. I'm going to leave it another five minute running like that. Then after that. I'm going to check the faulty code with the computer. Left it running more than five minutes. Then I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to check with the computer. Any faulty code for the problem. Read faulty codes. Bingo. Still no any faulty codes. However, I'm going to exit here. Then after that. I'm going to take to the motorway around 20 miles and come back to you. Yesterday, remember this vehicle we done the cleaning injector at blue. After that, I took it to the motorway journey 20 miles. Then once I came, immediately customer turn up and customer say, Charlie, 
I need to go my emergency work and he grabbed the vehicle. I couldn't finish the work yesterday. However, at the moment, however, this vehicle complete 52 miles, myself 20, customer 32 miles, all together 52 miles and they have a look at the dashboard, all nice and clear, no any funny warning light. However, I don't want to stop from here, but I'm going to plug in my computer and have a look. Right, I'm going to take a faulty code under ECU, engine control module, read faulty codes, bingo, you know, no faulty code at the moment after 52 miles. Right, I'm going to exit from here. Now, if you have a P20EE, -E, I think faulty code, I'm not sure exactly, you know what to do. Basically, this thing you can apply to the Peugeot Citroen, 100% guaranteed. And now I know Toyota Pro S also work well, because this is the first time I've done the Pro S. However, it's worked for the this car. If you have a problem like this, you can follow this video and you can get success. If you're not success, please comment below what you've done, what kind of repair, how much you spend. Everything mentioned below and share your idea with our community. It's very helpful for myself plus our all viewers. Then share your idea. Don't be quiet, please. Thanks. Please subscribe and follow my channels. You can get a lot of video like this. See you in the next video.